All right, welcome back to another video. And today I've got a pretty important one, kind of a Fusion 360 tutorial, but it's basically more of a me showing you how you can back up and save your work. So for those of you that are familiar with Fusion 360, you'll know that it's all cloud-based and you never really are in possession of your files. They're kind of stored on the cloud and that's just generally how it works. As we've seen very recently, Fusion 360 changed their personal license agreements and they've limited you to 10 projects per license. So any projects that you haven't used for a while gets archived and you may lose access to them. So what I'm gonna do is show you how you can add something to your design flow that'll keep you kind of backed up over time and stop this from happening in the future. So here we are in Fusion 360 and as you know, if you hit this panel up in the top left, it bring up all your different projects and you can see, I. Kind of try to keep mine tidy, but I've archived stuff as well. What I'm going to show you is how you can export your files in a Fusion 360 format so that you can keep opening them in Fusion 360, but also in a step format so that if in the future you decide to change which CAD software you're using, those files will also be compatible with that software. So for this example, I'm just going to choose a project. So I'm going to go into my Raptor 2 project and you can see in here I've got all my different designs for the things I've made. And I'm just going to go and select this Proline Trencher wheel. Now, you know, this is working. It's in Fusion 360. I'm working on this document in the cloud. But let's say, for example, I want to download it and I want it stored on my hard drive. All you do is you come up to File, come down to Export. You're going to have to name the file, which it usually will use the name that you've given it anyway on the cloud. And if you click this drop down, you can see the type we've got selected by default is. Autodesk Fusion 360 Archive. And if you want to keep using this in Fusion 360 in the future, you want to save it as this file type. What I like to do is save multiple different file types as a backup. So I usually do Fusion 360 and Step. So if you click this drop down, you can see there are a bunch of different formats in here. You've got STL, obviously, which is, you can't really edit those properly in the future, but if you're 3D printing and you want to export anyway, you can do that. We've got Step files, which Again, I recommend. You've also got Autodesk Inventor format. And you know, if you really want to back yourself up, you can go through and back all of these up. And I'd recommend you do it here in Fusion 360 as it's a lot faster, but I'm also going to show you another way you can do it on the web platform as well. This is how you do it. If you wanted to back something up, you give it a name, you select which format you want, and you just export the file. Now I've had a few people message me lately due to the license changes, and they've basically been saying that they're trying to do what I'm showing you here, and they can't because they don't have access to that project anymore. They can't even open it. So in that particular case, there is something you might be able to do. So if you click that panel again, go into a project. So obviously I've selected Raptor 2 here. There's a little button here that says open on the web. If you click that, and it'll open that project directory in a browser. So what you can do is just select that here. The model I'm working on in the cloud, Proline Trencher, you can see it here and it says in use by me. If you go to this arrow next to it, you can click export. And again, it's gonna give you a bunch of those different file types. And this might really help you resolve that issue where you might not be able to open the file in Fusion 360, but you'll be able to at least download it from here. So all you have to do in this case is if you click the button, select the format, and let's say I wanna choose um, step in this case, you just click step, a message will pop up, it'll say that particular file is being exported and converted to STP format and it'll email you a link with a download once it's complete. And this does work, I've done it for a few models myself. The STP format can take a little longer to convert depending on the size of the model, but they will send you an email link. So what I'd recommend you do is do this for all of your models to keep yourself backed up. What I actually do now is after I complete any design, so for all these different designs, I've kind of integrated into my workflow so that after I finish a design, I make sure that I do this process. I export it in multiple formats, just to ensure that I'm kind of future-proofing myself. Because you know, Fusion 360 is great at the moment, but as you've seen with these license changes, you just don't know what these companies are gonna do. And you know, you have to back up your work. So just to show you an example, so I, I back everything up on OneDrive. So if I go to these 3D models, Obviously I've done the 3018 CNC project recently. So if I go in this directory, you can see I've got everything in here and I've got them zipped as well because they're now available on my website to download. And if I click, for example, uh, CNC dust chew, you can see I've got in there, I've got it exported as an STL. I've got it exported as a step file 
and also a Fusion 360 file. And I do this for everything. And this is basically what I recommend you do, as I said, to keep yourself future-proofed, to avoid complications and annoying data losses in the future. So that's it for this one. I hope you find this useful. I highly recommend you do this. Otherwise, it will come back to bite you. I can promise you that. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you in the next video.